Hello, today I'm going to talk about the variants, how you can create the variants and or add the variants in Altium Designer 21 and how you can delete the variants if you don't need. So if you if you have seen my previous video, then you know that uh, this is a series voltage a schematic for series voltage regulator and this Q2 and R1 combination is for the um, overcurrent protection in case of the uh, in case of uh, at the output if we have a short circuit then this Q2 will get activated and it will protect your load from getting burned. So we will create here a vari uh, variant and in that variant uh, we will we uh, we will remove this Q2 and R1, which means that uh, series voltage regulator without overcurrent protection. So for that, what we have to do, you have to go to here in projects, then choose variants, and and in variants you have to here add variants. So let's name this uh, as I said, series voltage regulator without uh, overcurrent protection select okay and then what we have to do here as soon as you select okay here you can see that uh, that your new variant is created which is called series voltage regulator without our current protection and then in this you have to go to this uh, component q2 as i said that and here you can see this uh, three points click on this three points and say this component component is not fitted okay then uh, same for q2 uh, sorry r r1 S select not fitted and then when you have selected both as not fitted then select here okay so as soon as you click on okay here you can see that let me save this first so as you can see that it has generated two variants this uh, no variation which means that it's a default variation which which includes all the components and the next one is this uh, series voltage regulator without overcurrent protection which uh, the variant the variant which we have uh, just added so let me start with this first one uh, where we don't have uh, with a default variation so here if you will see at the bottom in editor next to this editor here you can see that in the schematic uh, which component it is having so by default for default schematic having all the components so let me select from here the next variant which we created so here also when you will select this one and then next to editor here when you will go then you can see that here these two components are not selected so that's why they are not shown in the in our schematic so that's how you can check whether you have selected the right component in case if you have a big schematic mm, yeah so that's how it is and uh, for example uh, let me go to the output job file here in the output job file here you can select either uh, whether you have to choose the out you have to generate the data for all the component like for default variation or for or for the series voltage regulator from here you can select then it, this one is valid for for all the all the output job files like for fabrication assembly and all so let me show you for example i have selected this series voltage regulator and when i will generate this assembly data and then here you can see that there is no this Q2 and uh, R2 is included uh, which I will show you here for example in the layout that's how it looks like they are next to Q1 so here Q2 and R1 and when I will open here this uh, PDF assembly they are not present there yeah and for example if I will go here back and choose here no variation and again generate the assembly file then here you can see that both are included Q2 and R R1 
yeah that's how it is and for example if we will choose this uh, peak and place uh, to when you will generate this peak and place and choose here this variant uh, without overcurrent protection then in peak and pl uh, place also it will not provide you any kind of x and y coordinate for q2 and r1 that's how you can create the variant pro from your project and if you wanted to delete this variant so what you can do you can again go to the uh, to the project and then select variants and from variants here you have to select the variants uh, which you have created and i mean you have to click here to the variants and once you click here in the variants then here this delete variant tab is available once you click here it will ask you for the confirmation and when you say okay okay and then here you can see that variant is automatically deleted and then again it will come back to the default and once you have once you come back to the default then next to editor you don't have any kind of um, extra schematic yeah that's how it works yeah so if, if you like my content then please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much